The next step is to design the connectors. The marble is represented by a circle. A typical marble is 5 8 inch diameter. So that is what I'm designing for. There is a limitation to my design that reducing the diameter of the marble will have a significant impact on mass and therefore momentum. Using a larger marble may be considered later on based on the simulations that we will run. Therefore, the design should be flexible to accommodate this. This is just the beginning of the sketch. The design will need to be modified into being a connector, not just rails. The key characteristics of this sketch are the dimensions are related to the outside of the diameter, not the center. This means that if the diameter of the marble changes, the spacing of the rails and the size of the connector will also increase. There is a clearance around the marble also based on the size. It was created using the offset sketch tool, so the marble will never bump the connector. The size of the rails can be increased or decreased if the simulation shows that they use too much material or are not strong enough. This connector will eventually be split into both the male and female portion. Therefore, it must be thick enough for this purpose. I used an initial value of 1 8th of an inch. This can be adjusted as necessary. To split the part into two separate bodies, I used a jagged line, splitting the part into two thirds on one half and one third on the other half. Then I used a surfix extrude both directions through all. This surface can be used with the split tool to create two separate bodies in this part. Each of these bodies should have dowels to ensure that the rails line up. To do this, I will share a sketch and apply a slight draft to the boss, but not the cut. Hiding the other body ensures that this boss is only applied to this body. The sketch will be shared between the two bodies so they will always have mating sizes. Cut a hole that fits tightly with the shoulder of the bolt so that the other bolt part can be added and has something to be mated to. To make sure there is a small clearance between the bolt and the threads I will use a scale feature. But to use the scale and scale it about a specific point a coordinate system is necessary to position the coordinate system in the middle of the hole, a point is necessary. Use reference geometry point to create this. Then a coordinate system can be made. Scale the bolt about the coordinate system, leaving the scale in the Z direction alone so the pitch is not changed. Finally, use a combine feature to subtract the threads from the male connector. If we want to separate these two bodies into separate part files, we can use save bodies to do this. But since we will always want to use both, we can just use move copy bodies to separate them.